Hi, this is a Gorilla Lift tailgate extension that I installed on my 6 foot 4 inch wide by 10 foot utility trailer. It has a 50 inch uh, ramp height. Uh, I don't know how heavy it is, but it is heavy. Uh, without that extension, it, it's quite a bit of work to get it up and down. It's awkward, it's hard on the back, and I, I like the idea of uh, this product. But I do want to point out that uh, there's a problem that uh, if you follow the instructions, you, uh, you might get caught that the cable that goes to the ramp uh, may touch a housing unit that is on, ramp, on, uh, on the trailer to hold the ramp up. So the directions uh, tell you to place it one quarter inch from the end which I did, and, and what they're assuming is that there's nothing after the end, um, but the cable is touching here, and you'll see on the cable that it's fraying, um, and lastly, um, it's not a matter of uh, me misinterpreting the directions, because if, in fact, this was a quarter inch from this position here, this hole that was pre-drilled into the square tubing, uh, metal square tubing would not be able to be, um, you can't, there's nothing here to, to attach it to. Um, there, one other thing about it that I didn't care for is that they don't give you any kind of like a rubber insert at this position to protect it from moisture going in there. Um, at this point here, uh, they they recommend to uh, install a sealant, and I think think that could be done a little better. They could have had a some type of an insert there that could assist us from keeping things uh, from getting in there. Um, outside of that, it was a very straightforward process to install it. What I'll do now is put the ramp down so you can see what that looks like. Move the pin, kind of guide it down to the part where the spring starts to take over, and you got to push it down a little bit. Very easy. The ramp, the way it's uh, adjusted right now, is about an inch off the floor, which is no issue whatsoever. Um, but you'll see here that the protective outer cover is frayed and metal is already being seen. So this is gonna fail at some point. That's, that's not a good situation. And I'll put it up one-handed if you want it, you know. You're just not gonna do it. And then step into it. It's so easy. It's, uh, it's awesome, it really really helps um, with uh, getting that up and down. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that change and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to paint them. I want them black and, uh, and then I'll begin my recording again. You can see hopefully a, uh, a product that's a little better for me. All right. Okay, the project has been completed. The modifications were made. Uh, bolts were realigned about an inch forward of where they were. You can see as I pan out that the cable indeed is straight up and down when the ramp is extended. It's not going to touch that housing. Uh, I painted the black tube, the tubing black, and uh, I had sent an email and asked for some new stickers, and they were good enough to get back to me and send them in the mail. Um, so I put them on, which I think look great because they are white with a black background already. Uh, there's still the issue of I need to find an insert for the front of the square tubing. They should provide something, but they don't. I'm going to leave the hole that was originally there for a tie-down point. Just painted through it to protect it. And uh, last step I'm going to do, which I haven't yet, is uh, I'm going to seal that up with some silicon caulk. It, uh, uh, stop things from getting in the middle of that. But other than that, the project went really well. And I'll just put you down for a second and we'll watch it go up.
And that's the installation.